Y'all can see it now. There are so many people that are pissed off at Takashi 69 And when they hear and see what Akon has said, they are going to be so angry because, you know, everybody's a real dude and everybody would have did 47 years. Akon basically said, nah, man, they handled that boy wrong. He shouldn't have even had to almost do one. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN! Jack Frost! What's up, party people? Alright, so... Yeah! So... Apparently... Akon... That's right. That Akon... Has spoken out... On Takashi... And the whole snitching thing. Okay, so real quick for everybody to know. I have been telling y'all for over a year now. That there are artists that will work with Takashi 69 Even absent. Uh, well, even with the snitching allegations that he has to go through. They're not snitching allegations. He literally took the, took the stand in trial. But I've been telling y'all that they are artists that will work with Takashi. Now, it's kind of not fair on my behalf because I already knew this. While, you know, you just got people making YouTube videos like, Takashi's career is over. Nobody's ever going to work with him again. Well, guess what? Akon said that he will, and Akon has a whole nation behind him. For everybody that don't know... I'm going to repeat this again. Akon has a whole nation behind him. Let's just... Okay. Anyway, so Akon was recently speaking with, I believe, DJ Woo Kid. I would love to play the audio for you, but our channel get hit with so many flags and so many people attempting to copyright strike us and, and just, you know, run us out of YouTube that I just cannot... Put up video of someone else's content because even if that person gives me the opportunity to use their content, I'm gonna have to go through so much bullshit with YouTube that it just kinda isn't worth it. So everybody, go check out the DJ Woo Kid um, interview. Uh, it's gonna be on his channel in the DJ Woo Kid channel. I'll put a link to the description in the video. You can go check it out. So uh, basically, they're talking, and, and Akon is speaking on the situation, and um, DJ Woo Kid is talking to Akon about whether he was he would support Takashi 69 or not, and Akon flat out says, hey, he's trying to do a song with him. <laughs> what are you talking about? Everything this dude does blow up. Now, there's something that we have to admit and acknowledge, and this is the problem with sometimes being one of the smarter people in the room. Um, usually when you're one of the smarter people in the room, people are going to do one of two things. They're either going to try to gang up on you and make it seem like you are either crazy or you're dumb or you don't know what you're talking about and they're all going to help each other lie against you or they're going to try to manipulate and use you. Well, I guess it's the third thing. They just might be cool MFers and just be cool with you, but that's a rarity. <laughs> I'm just going to... I'm just going to throw that out there. That's that's rare. People are usually going to gang up on you and try to destroy you. Or they're going to try to use you in order to try to get a better foothold on whatever the hell it is that they're trying to do. That's usually what's going on. Anyway, so one of the things that Akon brought out in this particular conversation that he was having is, is that uh, something that I've been saying for the longest. And this is not a knock on anybody in um, Treyway at all. But I have personally over here been saying the longest that I don't even think that Takashi 69 should have been in the situation that he was in. That's one. Um, they should have kept him separate. Just This is just my opinion and obviously Akon's opinion that they should have just kept him separate from anything that did not have to do directly with music. That the only thing that Takashi 69 was supposed to be doing is making music and living his best life. And um, that's basically what Akon had said, that they should have not 
even allowed for him to have gotten close enough to non music business for him to even be able to be involved in this particular tradeway case now there's something that i want to say real quick just so we could be clear on something the main thing that takashi actually snitched on when he went to trial was getting kidnapped if you don't believe me you can go check out the um shoddy interview one of the reasons why shoddy well i can be i could be incorrect i don't want to miss misquote the brother but one of the things that shoddy said when he was explaining why he forgave 69 for getting on the stand or or whatever for the situation or whatever he forgave 69 for was is that 69 did not snitch on basically all he did was let everybody know that he got kidnapped there's a good chance that if 69 does not get kidnapped there's no way to even get him to take the stand in the first place you understand what i'm saying i don't know he, there was a lot of other shenanigans he was throwing, throwing threats and and uh saying a lot of bs and, and and crap on social media we all know about that but when they actually took the stand the thing that 69 actually snitched on was being kidnapped he said a couple of other things as far as pointing individuals out that was in photos but let's be perfectly honest we all know who jim jones is it's not like we all know who cardi b is you understand what i'm saying so when you when you point at these people and you say yeah that's them in the photo it's like yeah well you know we followed them on ig we know how they look anyway that's neither here nor there there's another thing that I want to uh, speak on real quick that Akon brought up. You got to go check this interview out. It's about a half an hour long. Um, there's another thing that Akon brought up in the interview. And basically what he said was, is that if he ever got into any kind of sticky situations, the people that's with him is going to take the hit. I'm going to say that again. Akon said basically if he ever got into a sticky situation, the people that's with him are the individuals that's going to take the hit. He's not going to jail. He's not going to get mixed up in anything like that. The people that's with him is going to insulate him and make sure that if there is any type of um, problems that they might have with the law, that Akon stays free because Akon is the one that makes money. Akon is the one that puts money in everybody's pocket. He can't get, he cannot go to jail. And that's basically what the premise has been for a long time involving hip hop. And that's one of the reasons, not the sole reason, but one of the reasons why often when you hear about these rappers getting arrested or whatever the case might be, all of a sudden a gun that we thought was theirs or a gun that was said to be theirs is now all of a sudden somebody else's gun that just happened to be in the car with them. The drugs just happened to be somebody else's drugs that was in the car with them. Because when you hang out with the talent, you have to make sure that talent stays free. Um, another thing that Akon brought up And this is the last point that I want to make real quick You gotta go check out the interview He talked about quite a few different things He even talked about don't go into business with family Like seriously, Akon said that He said, um, I just want to say this real quick Before I get to the last point Akon pointed out that um, It's different for black families And for like, you know, Jewish families Or whatever the case might be I'm just gonna use Jewish families because he did He said because when you in the jewish family they bring you up to teach you the business they make sure that you know the business so when you become of age where it's time for you to start working you can slide right into the spot you know all the black people we don't necessarily bring our kids up all the time or at least there isn't the same percentage of individuals as in the jewish community that bring their kids up in order to be able to know the business and have their own business um, I'm going to get off of this and we're going to get to the last point real quick, but I do want to say something. We have to stop raising our kids to be mules. We have to stop raising our kids to be mules. We have to stop raising our kids to go just do whatever the most least job is to try to get some money. There's nothing wrong with us being artists. There's nothing wrong with us being scientists. There's nothing wrong with us just knowing how to be electrician. There's nothing wrong with this, an elevator a technician. There's nothing wrong with any of these things. These are skills and talents that we should be teaching our children. There's nothing wrong with being a mechanic. There's nothing wrong with being a carpenter. There's nothing wrong with being these things. Nothing at all. And these are the type of skills and talents that we have to start passing down to our children and not just the physical ability to be able to do these things, but also the intellectual acumen to be able to know how to do business in that field. With that being said, um, the last point that I want to bring up that Akon brought up was Akon said, Joe, 
these dudes that's pissed off at him or whatever the case is, he was out there making millions and putting money in everybody's pocket. This is a fact. He said Takashi was out there putting money in everybody's pocket. He was making millions for the team. How is it even a question that he should have to go down for anything? That I mean, that don't make sense to me either. I like y'all to leave some comments in the comment section. Um, also, if you actually go check out the Acon video, please come back. Leave a comment. I want to know what you thought, especially if you think that um, I misinterpreted anything that Akon was saying. I don't think I have. Akon said he is ready to work with Takashi 69 right now. He was joking. He was like, yo, I'm about to call him now. What are you talking about? <laughs> anyway, um, let me know what y'all guys think about this. Um, I, I, Akon is official. So once again, we got 50 speaking up for Takashi. Basically saying similar things to what Akon is saying. We have Akon speaking up for Takashi. Basically saying similar things to the things that I said. It seems like me, 50, and Akon are all saying the same thing. I want to know what you guys think. And and and, and, and just to, to top all of this off, just to top all of this off, please somebody put down in the comment section, how many of y'all would have did 47 years? Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama, it may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it?